My name is Russ Cook and I'm attempting to become the first person ever to run the entire length of Africa. This is where I started, this is where I'm going and this is where I am now. I've run 3,271 kilometres so far and I have 11,729k left to go. In this episode, we feel the shockwaves of the robbery as we're joined by a police escort my ass takes a hit Holds his ass as he leaves. and we land up on the president's desk. <laughs> no it didn't take long for the news of the robbery to spread as we made international headlines. The result, the Angolan police wanted a word. They had decided to follow me and protect me every step of the way. I set off from the police station with my new escort in tow, but just 13k into the run, I was back and I had no idea why. What are you doing back in our van? I was on a break, mate. Why? Well, I don't know. I don't really understand any Portuguese, so I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> I just do what I'm told. Who said go here? I said, all right. Yes, I'll have to eat some cheese and bread then. What a shame. Damn shame. Yeah, I actually have no idea what's happening. Do you? No, no. <laughs> Weird. It's a f***ing weird situation, to be honest. It doesn't feel quite real. Some big, important people around here today, I reckon. When, when they're playing clothes, you know they're pretty important. How far have you gone so far? Only like 12k. Nice. Some good news. Yeah, go on, lad. They said to me, they're like, oh, so he's going to eat a little bit of breakfast and drink some water then, and then he's going to keep running with us. And I was like, yeah, with you guys. Yeah. I told them we're staying here, that you've still got work to do, and maybe in an hour, we'll come join you. I told them that we've always got your, your live location, um, which we can do anyway, so that we know where they are and we'll come and join them in a bit. And they seemed okay with it. Eat some scran, lad, drink some water. And then whenever you're ready, just give them a little wave and we'll join you in a bit. All part of the story. Game is to go. Game is to game. While I had time to kill, I decided to investigate the toilet situation at the police station. <laughs> Good luck. Ready to go again. I love running. I love running with the police. I love running with the squits. I love running when I'm throwing up. I love running when men point guns in my face. I love running when I wee blood. Um, when. Oh, sorry, I just had a fart. When don't you love running? Every waking second of the day. You do. <laughs> What's your song for the day? Britney Spears. Which one? Alright. Alright. Bye bye. So, Harry and I are standing in the f back because we're pumping that tire. It says. 49 or 40 psi and it also says 69 psi who the f knows although 69 feels like it would number one great number number two feels like it would support the weight of everything that's in the back a bit more what do you think stan i'm gonna stand here so that when it inevitably explodes the door is at least covering me just stand behind stan yeah stan can be my meat shield oh. <laughs> one of these <laughs> May God be on our side. I set off again and made my way another 17k. It was bizarre having the police alongside me, but luckily these were nice guys and by the time I made it to the stop, I was starting to get used to it. Hello there. Hello. 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 Quiz question. Yeah, go on. I love quizzes. Are you today A ferocious B stomping or C uh, I'm not fed, but I am a bit tired. I'm gonna have to Yeah, alright. It's just like maybe a little bit in between uh, stomping and that's not just an option. Tired here. Incorrect. Shit. Lost What's my punishment? There's no put Mate, what quiz have you ever taken part in, man? There's a punishment if you, well, you, if don't, you don't win. win. So that's a... Yeah, that's your punishment. Oh, you don't I'm win. I'm a loser. The prize. Shit, that's the worst punishment. Of all. Your hair looks f***ing feral today, mate. I can't lie. Feral, yeah. Oh, yeah. Strong. What are you on now? 30? 29.7 or something. Oh, f*** it. Get out. 
<laughs> uh, See, I look like Messi, Stan. They reckon, uh, look Joe, you look like Messi. <laughs> Apparently. Yeah, I don't see it either. Messi, <laughs> <laughs> Love it if I had a clue what was going on. Fair game. But, well, we know I look like Messi. There's a lot of football terms going around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which doesn't really clear things up for me, I can't. <laughs> Did you see that ludicrous display last night? I spoke to the commander earlier and I explained how we want things to be. Yeah. If he's if he's like I basically asked him was like, do you have to? And yeah. he was like, Yeah. Um but it's like I basically said that as long as we can do our job, yeah. you know, and we can go buy water, buy supplies, find a campsite, do all of this kind of thing, and every twenty kilometers um we'll stop somewhere secure. Yeah. Um and he was like, Yeah, our primary concern is uh, the security of the athlete. Josh you by the way. Mobile megastar. <laughs> Yeah, mate, I actually don't mind it, to be honest. I thought, I thought it would be more jarring than it actually is. If yeah. we're both here together, then it doesn't give you a lot of room for cars to get yeah, out of the way. Yeah, long. It's still, that is the most annoying thing about the whole situation. Yeah. Is that constantly trucks coming past me and leaving this much room. What is the one thing that feels like you can never stretch it? Deep ass. Deep glute. Deep right there. Yeah. The seat like, Yeah. Fly if you to <laughs> Mate, if you stomp long enough, everything just goes numb anyway. Right, I'm gonna bounce. Bye bye. Another 10k down the road, we hit our first county border. As Harry later explained, this is where the jurisdiction of one police force ended and another started. At the border, we waited for the police to swap over, then I continued my run. Not My amigo idiota. <laughs> <laughs> the low moods from the robbery were slowly starting to lift and I began to feel the stomps return. I reached just under 60k as the sun set. Nah, I'm stopping here, mate. Sweet. Oh my right. How are you? How are you otherwise? Yeah, all right, it's tired, mate. It's sweating, bro. Did you have to no, go down that diversion? Oh, <laughs> that was f***ed. I can't get through that. She struggled, I can't lie. Yeah, We've got a shower for you tonight. We've got a pet. This is like, you'll love this. This is max efficiency, yeah? Fine. Petty station. Yeah. You don't have to pay to stay there. It's got um, nighttime security. All you have to do is buy dinner and use the showers. Okay. Yeah. Over food that night, Harry delivered some interesting news. So I just had a chat with the police officers and it was quite funny, loved it. Turns out Russ is a global mega star, um, or at least not. Right, let's, call it, call it, let's call it national. They took the photos, they're ready to leave. They sent the photos to the commander and the commander of the police force of Kwanzaa saw the state, state police was like, do we trust the local security guards to do their job? And he was like, no. So if the commander says they stay, they stay because the commander has orders from the state governor and the governor has orders from the president. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Morning, Russ. How are you? How are your legs feeling? How far are you running today? Well, that's a lot of questions, lad. Uh, hi, Just yeah, fine. Legs, yeah. Uh, running, hopefully 60k. Stomping ones and twos. Not sure we'll find out. Floating, uh, yes. Maybe. Well, there's big sh out there. Yeah. Fair. Um. <laughs> what were you distracted by just now? Someone's just laid a massive poo out there. A couple, actually. What would you say to the people who complain that we talk about poo too much? Um, you're right. <laughs> we do. We do. We absolutely do. What's that Giza said? That quote that Giza said? Happiness in Africa is a dry fart. And I relate. Well, it's Kingsley Holgate. Yeah. Yeah, an exploring legend, see? Oh. We are normal, I promise. Well, like, eating something that you know is not actually going to make yourself all like, we went, we walked to that restaurant last night. She brings out the food, the dinner, and, I'm, and you know, I eat it, it tastes like mud, and I'm like... What did you think of the dinner? What was it? What was in it? Man, I can't lie. Some meat with some vegetables in this stew. What meat? I don't know. So your <laughs> guess is as good as mine has. But I uh, <laughs> took about three mouthfuls and went, I, you know, sometimes you risk it for a chocolate biscuit, but I don't risk it for um, a bowl of a bowl of farm farm meat. Yeah, farm bowl of mud. Bowl of mud. Don't risk it for that. 
That would be a sh expression to be fair. Yeah. Brisket for a bowl of mud. That's just rule number one. If it's a chocolate biscuit, all right. <laughs> a bowl of mud. No, 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 no. <laughs> she bought that out and I was like, <laughs> and then I was like, and then I was like, oh, it's all right, because at least, um, you know, they said they've got hot showers here, so I'll have a hot shower. And then the kids took me to the room and I tried to turn the shower on, nothing. And I went, <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> we're also not even in the Congo yet, and everything's wet. Like everything's just moist. Oh, maybe yeah, we were saying in the way. But I just feel sticky. Yeah. No. And the worst bit is knowing that we're not gonna stop even for a moment feeling sticky for four months at least. Probably longer. <sighs> right, let's go. Let's do it. For fuck's sake. Right, I'll we'll see you at the party. Yeah. 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 It was super remote out here. The landscape looked like something out of Jurassic Park. I was light on my toes, ready for a T-Rex to leap out of the bushes at any moment. But luckily, they were all... Hello. Good morning, good afternoon. How you doing? Yeah. Stiff, huh? Stiff. Now that you're back, I might also be a little bit stiff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to wear you down. <laughs> I'm already worn. <laughs> no need. Hello, Harry. What's up, friends? Hola. Hola. <laughs> Are you going to run with? You run with him. <laughs> How are you doing, Stan? How's the edit looking? <laughs> <laughs> Stan lost his voice. Okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah. into your hall. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> What's up, Russ? I just got my my big old booty. His bunda. My bunda is nothing, man. There's just the non-existent bunda. The man's got negative back off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's wrong with your non-existent bunda? Gluteus maximus. Gluteus right. minimus. <laughs> 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 that was actually a good one. Right. Yeah, not really sure what's wrong with it, but it fing hurts. I've gone a while without having any muscle or bone. Yeah. So. Uh, it's been overdue. Welcome back to reality. <laughs> <laughs> what's the plan then? To fix it? Smash my tarmac. Smash my tarmac. I was thinking maybe you could like caress the tarmac. You know, massage the tarmac. Ingesting. Ingest the tarmac. What? That's not helpful. How would it that help? To eat the tarmac. I had an interesting Malaran dream last night. Yeah. Uh, we were here, and it was um, in the morning, early doors. And for whatever reason, the two boys were sat with their laptops out in the thing, and there was a guy walking up behind them with a knife. And I ran and fly kicked the Donny in the back, and then choked him out of my legs. <laughs> and I woke up and was like. That can't have been real. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most you thing I've ever heard. Sweet like, justice. We're, we're all having horrible paranoid dreams and Harry's just f***ing fantasising about flying <laughs> kicking. Flying kicking, yeah. <laughs> I had the one about the coat, uh, that mat, like 20 the foot long snake. snake that I choked out and then stamped its head in. So That's a decent thing. thing. Yeah. Let's see how well that comment ages. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Russell! <Marshall! laughs> <laughs> oh, that is a defeated man. Oh, I need my hat. Bro. Please, bro. Sort yourself out. <laughs> One day, like, out of nowhere, he'd murder someone. If there was a murderer in the group, yeah, it's it Stan. If, if you're what? gonna murder me, bring a big gun, because if you don't, I'll rip you alive, mate. Is that a challenge? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> bang, bang. Enjoy the hills! <laughs> Stan's threats kept me moving faster, pushed on through the next 20k. I was feeling tired and sluggish today. The hills were absolutely brutal, pushing me through more elevation gain than the tallest mountain in England. It was nothing a healthy dose of tarmac couldn't help though. So steep. So I actually got hurt. So do you want the good news or the bad news? So bad news. It is quite hilly coming up. Quite but hilly, mate. It's a mountain, bro. Okay, so good news. Yeah. There is a very nice bed, a hamburger for 1,500 Kwanzaa. Okay. And a warm shower. Are you sure it's That warm? works. We tested it. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Sound. Nice, pretty. So good fucking luck on these hills, but at least yeah. there's a shower waiting for you. Yeah. 
What's worse, downhills at this point? Because these are steep downhills. The steep downhills are not fun, mate. Mm -mm. And they should be, because uphills are bullshit. Yeah. So I look forward to the downhill, and then the downhill comes, it's like that. <laughs> yeah. Ah. I'm going to run for another 50 minutes or so. You look a bit naked. You're missing something. Yeah, I'm not taking my bag. It's only 7K. I'm trying to drive a lot up here, especially because I've got about a 95 million five foot mountain to climb mm. as well. If I haven't got a hot cow tonight, then you will see tears for the first time on, on this YouTube series because I will be crying intensely. <laughs> Holds his ass as he leaves, never a good sign. You have a friend, Russ? Not a hundred percent sure how things got to this point where Russ has now got a random friend running with him. All of Angola knows him. We have police with us all the time. And we get to run through places like this. Like this is beautiful. <laughs> I ran with my new friend towards the mountains for the next 10K as the sun set. Fortunately, just before I hit the biggest hill of the day, we had a technical error. So, found mate, what's gone wrong? <laughs> my, uh, my watch just died, um, but it's about to get dark. So, day. I am absolutely knackered. Big day on the hills today. Lots of elevation, mate. What? So, hotel, hot water, bit of scran, mate, and then back at it again tomorrow. End of the day, day. 69, a day we've all been waiting for. Oh yeah, sad that we're not all here to celebrate. So your watch died last night, no? Yeah, it did, that was annoying. Watch died, I looked down and I thought, Sh this ain't being tracked, and none of it either counts. But it's alright, because we own our squad equipped, we only lost 300 meters. Do you not yeah. want to dramatise it for YouTube? Oh, I lost 85,000 kilometers, and now I can't run anymore, and everyone's dead. Thank you. In brackets, extreme. I am stiff. Oh, yeah. Oh, dear. We were saying on the drive up this weather's changed yeah. so dramatically. It's got cooler but more hum humid, so it basically feels worse. Well, you don't really sweat. But I do not. Yeah. Like Prince Andrew. Well, the good news is that the humidity will get better in Mauritania. But it will get better eventually. It's only like for maybe five months away. Yeah. See you later. I was feeling spicy on day 69, pounding my way through the towns and cities at my fastest pace in weeks. In one of the towns, I had a run in with another crazy armed man. Mate, that was weird. What was weird? Weird stretch. What happened? I was running through that town. Rubbish. Yeah. Weird people. Really? Doing weird things. What were they doing? Mate, a crackhead. A cracker came up to me, yeah, like this. Like, like this, right? And started like, pointing at me like it was a gun. I don't know if he'd seen the news and thought he was a good joke or something. Maybe. But he was fully a crackhead and he was like trying to like antagonize me with it and like running alongside me and like being all scatty on purpose and like, like pointing it at the feds, at the police and shit and then pointing it at me. What, finger gun? Yeah, like, like actually just a finger gun. And <laughs> I just said to him like, what level of crackhead are you then? Because <laughs> he, he was looking at his finger gun like he thought it was an actual gun. Like he was looking at me like, I'm going to, I'm going to kill you. Like, give me your things. You are a different level of cracker than what I've seen. <laughs> the Fed looked at him like he deals with this all the time. He laughed. Go away. <laughs> and I was like, this is weird. My stomach was feeling ropey from my mud bowl meal at the petrol station a few days ago. The boys had kept the contents a secret to stop me from being sick, but it was reveal time. Three parts off a cow. Um, either the stomach lining, okay. the intestine, or the poop shoot. <laughs> what the fuck? Right, speaking of poop shoots, someone take over filming. <laughs> What's wrong, Mr. Dan? Dan's gonna go shit in the bushes. I just remind you, there's cobras in the bushes. Yeah, yeah. I'll shit on the cobras and have fun. I will actually shit on the cobra. Yo, poor Andrew Tate, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I would shit on Andrew Tate. Oh, now I've just got a bunda shot. Bunda. Bunda. Gluteus minimus. <laughs> okay. My gluteus minimus on minimum power moved me at a slow pace, but I was determined to hit 60K today. I powered through the second 20. Luckily, the boys were waiting for me to shoot some unique A-grade content. 
How are you? What? Good. Yeah. Laka, how you feeling? How you doing? You know the standard questions. I'll give you the standard answers. Standard answers. Okay, let's go for a non-standard question. Can badgers and beavers be friends? No. Why not? Because uh, they're racist. Hashtag science. No, no, it's beavers, mate. Badgers are calm, but beavers just ain't having it. Uh, I watched it on National Geographic one time. Oh yeah. Yeah. Badgers and beavers can. They're just like, mate. They just go around to everyone to suck their mum. Like. <laughs> Did you hear that about that? Um... That group of beavers, though, that are fighting against the racism. Against the racism, yeah. Or what, against the other racist beavers? Yeah, not physically fighting, but they, okay. you know, they, they've got pipe cars. Oh. They have wooden signs, they make it, you know, they're good at, they chew up the wood and then they make the sign. Oh. Okay. Yeah, they're big teeth. So that means that beavers would cut wood if they could chuck wood. Isn't that wood chuck? Russ, the most, we've bought lots of things today in the shop, right? The most exciting one, though, baby wipes. Yeah, that's good because I need a poo. Actually, I was just thinking, I've been thinking about that for like the last three weeks. I was thinking, are they coming soon? Because I really need a poo. Mm. I expected a response. I don't think that was the response I expected. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't. I, I didn't expect it, but I'm still not surprised. You know? Feeling a solid 60 today, lad? Yeah, maybe. We'll see, how to, we'll see what the road lies ahead. Ahead lies the road. What? Road? Road? Yeah, deep, man. Get that on f***ing inspiration on Instagram. What are, you, what are your thoughts today, Stan? My thoughts? Yeah, I'm hungry. I'm tired. Wow. That's a nice sunset, I guess. Bye. Oh, my God. Just means thank you. You're welcome. I hurried off on road to stomp out some rapido ones and twos in an effort to hit 60k. Unfortunately, in my rush to get it done, the boys ate my dirt and lost me. How far off can he realistically be? I don't know, Harry. Where is Russell? Oh. Oh, Russell, Russell, Russell. He's lost Russell. We need to spice up this content, lad. We've got hey, drugs. Where is he? Oh, he's on this road somewhere. Problem solved. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. brother. What's up? Alright, alright, alright. Aussie city round here, boy. Oh, is it? How was that? 100% sweat. Sweaty, bruv. Humid, mate. Humid. Temp temperature really doesn't make me sweat. It's mace, mostly only humidity. What was the total? 57? Uh, nah. Uh, I think it was 59. Oh, nice. Strong. Right. Let's try and find a place to stay. Yeah. Alright. In the next episode, we have some visitors push another innocent man close to death and he saves mine in return.